hello hello thanks for tuning into this video it should be a pretty quick video of me installing uh, the roof rails on my 2022 Mitsubishi Outlander I did see a few videos for the 2020 I believe but I didn't see any for 2022 and beyond hopefully this video will help you um, at least to understand the, how the process goes uh, it's not too bad or it wasn't too bad but you'll see throughout this video and hopefully I can link at least uh, where I got my kit from um, and yeah let's get right to it so for step one we're just gonna screw the rail pieces together uh, it came with the bolts and the screws um, they were all in the box and there was a few tools as well so we'll go ahead and do that now mind the dirty car that rocks here um so yeah there's your piece screw its little pieces together right there I'm not really sure what's going on here. Alright, so this part right here is kind of buckling up. It's supposed to be down. Kind of presses in there, but it's pretty hot. So that's what happens. And this part just kind of pops up. Gotta be careful on the other side. I'm gonna have to plug this up and you can see that little seam. I don't know if it's supposed to come off, but it definitely did separate. I'm trying to not to make, let this side separate when I do it. I don't know why it matters, but I'm just going to try to do it, pull it out from here slowly. And so I will see what happens here. Yeah, so this time, I'm able to get that out a little slower and then just kind of slowly pull up. You see this little track in there? Yeah. Like that. Yeah, go down this end because there's a seam down the other end too. Right there. So I'm just gonna. I got it all the way up in it. Not that okay. There. There we go. So I wiped it off a little tiny little bit. Not bricks. My dog that's what you see. And first it feels like mess in there. I go get a Q-tip. I care, but probably not enough. <laughs> so, anyway, a few of these um, little holes you're actually going to use to screw in the bolts they gave us. So, do that in a moment. RL there, the rear left. That's the part that is gonna go back here. That's a lot of sand in there. Okay. So this part got this little lip deal. That's what's gonna go in this little pocket. And there. Just do this. Just sit it there for now. With the holes peeking through. And then we'll do the same for the front. Okay. 
to get up there right now. But got a little lip tube. <clears throat> it's kind of important to get this placement right before you actually lock the top piece onto it because oh, that other side I did was hard to do once I actually had the back part locked in and it didn't seem like it was aligned right and it just gave me a lot of trouble so this time I'm going to make sure that I'm going to make sure that it seems like it's aligned right at least lined right not down yet but Well, this is gonna slide in both pieces. This part is not metal. Of course, I didn't know that. This part is. So I'm gonna snap them in. Open there. Sliding it on there. this thing up uh, I would say it was not a very complicated process overall but a few parts you do need to pay attention to with which I called out earlier I do like it I think it looks better um, and I think it's a good addition um, I do think it's something that you could spend time doing yourself uh, but that depends on the person as long as you pay attention to the details, you ought to be okay. Um, but yeah, I'm happy with it overall. Glad that I did do it myself. So until next time, I am out. <laughs>